From the beginning of time, man has tried to commune with the forces beyond. It started with the worship of nature. Sun, fire, water, and all the forces which sustained life became objects of his worship. In the course of time, he tried to confer with the mystic powers behind the forces of nature. He meditated for long periods. What he divined, he passed on to the future by word of mouth. Chanting these words became a new mode of worship, prayer. As man saw newer aspects of the ultimate, he symbolized them in the form of images and idols. Prayers were offered to these. His faith became fixed. Chantings were refined into hymns and psalms. Music became a part of worship. To the tune of the mind, his body quickened into movements that harmonized with the moods of the mind. Mind and body rejoicing in the praise of God. Dance became a new form of worship. It took many forms, many styles, in many places. This is one of the oldest forms of organized dance worship, the Periyatam of North Malabar in South India. It is performed in the Thara or courtyard of the village or family shrine. Periyatam is a dance of hero worship performed in honor of the heroes that belong to legend, faith or family. This one depicts Padavira, the mighty fighter. It is symbolic of the great martial skills for which Kerala was famous. It is believed that the celebrated Kerala Kathakali developed from such dances. Periyatam is not a strictly coded dance. The artists can improvise according to the needs and inspiration of the moment. It is a long program running for two or three days. The items are many. Dancers perform in turn. Preparations are elaborate. The Malayalis of Kerala have a talent for the unusual. They are great artists and craftsmen. In their skilled hands, the tender coconut palms take several beautiful forms of crowns, gloves and girdles. The makeup is complex. It takes many hours to complete. Meanwhile, 
the artists meditate on the marathon role they have to play. They need mental preparation. They are transformed. They become heroes. Fully arrayed, the Chamundi is ready for the stage. Chamundi is an aspect of the maiden Parvati in her role as Durga when she destroyed Chand and Mund. They were the mighty captains of the demon king, Shumha and Nishumba, who coveted her. In honor of this victory, she took the title of Chamundi. This dance is performed in her honor. Frock, girdle, and mop are all made of tender coconut leaves. In this dance, Chamundi is a combination of distress and triumph, fury and beauty. With a mighty heap of hair, massive ears, and fierce teeth, Kali represents another aspect of Durga. powerful and much dreaded deity. In Kerala, she is believed to control smallpox. This dance is addressed to her, seeking protection from the loathsome disease. is not easily pleased. The dance goes on and on. A tiny trade springs up. The Malayalis are good Democrats. High or low, they mix well. Enjoy their small luxuries while the dance continues. Most popular in Kerala is this Kuti Chata. a manifestation of an irritated Ganapati, the elephant-headed son of Shiva. The makeup and movements resemble the elephant. Kutichatan is a menacer, setting fire, pelting stones, fouling food, and desecrating homes and holy places. Often during the Thara dance, 
the artists become possessed of the spirits they represent. Believers approach, seeking help or asking favors. The dancer becomes an oracle. The spirit utters, the faithful offers gifts and receives blessings. During auspicious hours, the village priest would offer prayers and sanctify the precincts. With a towering crown and a vast girdle of fire, dances Kantakarnan, the ferocious. He is an aspect of Shiva that controls diseases. Horrors of diseases are manifest on his face. Fires around his loins destroy the demons of diseases. May this please thee, O Kantakarna, let the untamed diseases burn in thy fire. Like pageants everywhere, fireworks provide an extra thrill. Often it goes on until morning. Rising high like a ladder to the outer world are the mighty crowns of Gullikan. Long, long ago, Shiva became angry with Yamma, the agent of death. In his fury, Shiva opened his third eye, and lo, Yama was consumed in the fire of Shiva's wrath. Death vanished from the world. The world became burdened with people, old, infirm, maimed, all seeking death. In despair, they cried to the gods to save them from the curse of eternal life. Gulikan came with the blessings of death. He restored the cycle of life. A grateful world worshipped him. His mask represents death, the crown, the triumph of life. Amazing as these feats are, more amazing is the manner in which the Malayalis have preserved their rich heritage. Arts and crafts, they blend in their lives. They create deities that suit their lot. is the barrier breaker, otherwise known as the nameless. He is an aspect of Ayapan, the son of Shiva and Vishnu. Through a curse and birth, he is barred from holy places. The dance represents his attempt to break through. Shackles will I smash, barriers will I break, heavens will I pull down, I shall fight and gain my rights. <laughs> Nameless is an embodiment of protest against adverse fate, a strong inherent trait in the people of Kerala. The 
dance is symbolic of a social protest. For ages in Kerala, the priests of the temple were the lords of the land. The people had no freedom to worship as they wished. They struggled for centuries in protest. They built their own shrine. There they worshipped. There they danced. Thus began, centuries ago, the Tara dances. Rich and vigorous, Periyatam survives even today as a unique form of worship through dance.